As requested in this video, I am going to show you the setup if you would like to receive calls or you want to call someone while you're doing your streaming from your laptop using the Signedo Live 100. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the things, cables we will be needing in the setup. First of all, of course, the Sinido Live 100. And then the microphone that comes along with this is this one, the Sinido Condenser Microphone, which is an electric condenser microphone that does not need a phantom power. Okay, and the cord that goes along with this condenser microphone is this one, XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. And then we will use uh, this uh, USB type A to USB type C. So the one that looks uh, like that. This normally comes when you buy the Sanido Live 100. And we will also be using this uh, TRRS. So the one that has uh, three lines on both ends. So it's uh, either you have this two, or let's say you only have one, but you have one TRS. So TRS is the one that has two lines only. So you can use this two or this too so again whichever you have anyway when you buy a Sanido Live 100 it does comes with a TRRS so you don't have to worry and also I will be uh, using an earphone to monitor the audio and I will be using this uh, Y splitter so this is TRRS 3.5 millimeter jack to microphone and headphone so there you go so this is for the microphone this is for the headphone and now you don't need this lightning audio adapter if you will be using an Android phone. So this is just for iPhone and this phone here, this is the phone I'll be using to receive calls or call someone while I am doing my live streaming. And that's why I always need this lighting adap adapter because this uh, phone here does not have an audio jack on it. And of course, from this laptop, this will be uh, the, the laptop I will be doing my live streaming. Okay, let's start the connections. And now let's connect first the earphone. Actually, this is a headset because this earphone has a built-in microphone on it. You can tell because it has three lines on it. Now, if you're intent to use the built-in microphone on here, you will have to connect it to the one that says headset. But if you're planning to use only the condenser microphone, like this one here, I suggest connect it to the one that says headphone so that it will not pick up your voice as well. Okay, so I'm connecting it right now to the one that says headphone. And now let's connect uh, the uh, condenser microphone. As I mentioned earlier, this is an electric condenser microphone, which does not uh, need a phantom power. So we will not be connecting it to here, to the one with an XLR port. Instead, we will connect it down here. So mic one or two, you just pick which one. Let's connect it to the one that says mic one. And very self-explanatory, let's connect the other end to here. And now let's use this Y speeder. First, we will connect this lightning adapter to here. If you are using an Android phone, you do not need this uh, lightning audio adapter as I mentioned. You connect this one directly to the headphone port of the phone you will be using to be calling someone or receiving calls while you're doing your streaming. Okay, so again, this phone does not have an audio jack on it. That's why I need this one. And I'll connect it over here. Now the headphone port on here, let's use this TRS. Okay, so I will connect one end here. Again, I'm connecting it to the one for headphone. And then the other end of the TRS, I am going to connect it here to the one that says line in. Okay, now the one for the microphone, I'm going to use one of the TRRS on here. I'll connect one end there. And then I will connect the other end to here. So you just select live one, two, or three. Okay, so maybe let's select uh, live two. Okay, there you go. So again, you don't need to have uh, another one of these, but if you prefer to use this one instead of a TR TRS, you can. Now to connect the USB type A to USB type C, we will connect it to here, to the one that says uh, PC. And then the other end, we will connect to this laptop. Just locate the uh, uh, USB Type-A port of the laptop and that's where it's uh, gonna go. 
Okay, so okay, let's right there and then let's connect this one to here. And now I'm going to turn on the Sanita Live 100. Okay, there you go. Now, once you connected the Sanito Live 100 to your laptop, and after you turn on the Sanito Live 100, make sure to go to your settings from your laptop, go to sounds, and then make sure your output and your input are both set to Sanito Live 100. So let's say your speaker here has to be set to Sanito, as well as your input or your microphone is set to Sanito Live 100. Okay, now they're both set, so let's now go out from here. And by the way, the streaming platform I will be using again for today is Facebook streaming. So as you can see, I'm almost uh, ready to go live. So from here, I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to select here, this one, the one that says select. Okay, and uh, there I am. So I, you have to select this as your webcam so you can see yourself. Okay, and so from here, make sure also to set your microphone here to Sinedo, so, so that on your streaming, whatever audio will come out from this uh, Sinedo Live 100, that is gonna be your audio to come out on your streaming. Okay, so it's now set to Sinedo Live 100, then you're all good. Now let's uh, go live. So right now I'm gonna go uh, hit uh, go live. Okay, I will not be adding a title this time. Okay, there you go. I am now currently on live. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm just gonna increase my mic level on here so I don't have to be so close to my microphone. Okay, so right now my audio is, uh, or my vocals is dry. That is because I select dry on here. So that means without any reverberation to my, to my vocals. Now, uh, as to my settings on here, so I'm just gonna set my treble, treble and bass at the middle. And by the way, if you want to know all the features and functions of this Sanido Live 100, I will be adding a link under the description below. Some features here for doing a live streaming is the denoise button. I suggest turn this on so that if there are other extra noises uh, on your surroundings, at least it will minimize that uh, sounds. Since we are doing our live streaming from this laptop, we have to make sure or we have to remember our record volume knob here is on high. Otherwise, there won't be no audio on your live streaming. Okay, so it's already set to high and then the monitor, it's up to you how loud you wanted it to hear on your uh, headphone or earphone you are uh, currently using. Now, uh, let's uh, maybe do a sample right away. I'm gonna be calling my husband and uh, we will see if he is able to hear all the features or the sound effects coming from this uh, Sinido Live 100. Okay, I'm gonna call my husband right now from this phone and later I'll ask him to call me. Hello, Hello Daddy, how are you today? I'm good. Okay, so right now good? my husband is on the other line. I am the one who's calling him. Okay, so I, what I'll do is I'm gonna hit uh, this, uh, this uh, voice changer on here and I'm going to ask him if, uh, can he hear those uh, sound effects that I am pressing? Maybe let's uh, start up with this one here. Okay, Daddy, can you hear the sound effects? Can you please uh, confirm? Can you hear the clapping sound effects on your end? Yeah, loud and clear. Okay, uh, maybe let's have this one. What about this laughter sound effects? Can you tell me if you can hear this? Yes. Can you hear that? Okay, good. Okay, now I am going to change my voice with this voice changer. Okay, maybe I'll uh, select child. This time I selected child as my voice. Daddy, can you hear me with a different voice? Yes. <laughs> okay, there you go. So, as you notice, my husband is able to hear me using a different voice. What about this one? Okay, Daddy, can you hear me with a different voice this time? I hear it loud. Okay, there you go. So, as you can see, um, my husband is able to hear me as well using...
this uh, different voice changer and there you go so it's confirmed using this anita live sound card if you call someone they are able to hear you using this voice changer on here and then the sound effects and if you if you added some customized sound effects on here they will be able to hear that as well okay this time what i'm gonna hang up now and then i'm gonna ask my husband to call me instead i'm going to hang up now can you please call me Okay. 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 I'm going to hang up now. Okay. So this time my husband will be calling me and we will check if it's going to be the same thing or something else. Okay. He's calling me now. I'm going to answer the phone. Hello, daddy. Hello. Okay. There you go. So this time my husband is the one who called me as if let's say you have uh, someone else maybe a friend is calling you okay so as you can see i can hear my husband uh, clearly so he's from the other line okay so uh, okay daddy i'm going to uh, press uh, some sound effects on here and can you confirm if you're able to hear this okay i'm gonna uh, select okay. boing can you hear that sound effects i hear that okay what about uh, this one can you hear that too? Yeah. yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay, and now I'm going to change again my voice uh, with this voice changer. And can you please confirm if you can hear this? Okay, okay, son. okay can you yeah. hear me with a different voice? Yeah, I hear that. Okay. okay, there you go. And one, la okay, one last uh, voice changer. Okay, can you hear me with a different voice uh, yeah, this time? A different voice now. Okay. Okay. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, it's confirmed. It's either I call someone as a host or someone is calling you, maybe a participant, a callers or your viewers, both of them or both the scenario or cases, your audience or callers is able to hear your sound effects are coming from the Sunido Live 100. Okay, so while my husband is still on the other line, what I'll do is I'm gonna be playing a background music from this laptop and I will ask my husband if he is able to hear that background music that I am playing. Okay, now since, since I'm doing a live stream from this laptop and at the same time, I will be using background music from this laptop, you have to make sure for your audience or participants or viewers to hear your background music that you're playing. Make sure to turn on the loopback, otherwise they will not hear the background music you are playing. Okay, so I will play this uh, song on here from YouTube. And uh, okay, I'm gonna ask my husband if he's able to hear this uh, music. Okay, daddy, can you hear that uh, background music I'm playing? Can you confirm? okay there you go so so my husband said he can hear the background music i am playing if you want to use the dutch feature on here what it does is with the background music you're playing as you talk the volume of that background music goes down and when you stop talking the background music volume you're playing will go up okay let's uh, uh, maybe let's test it with this one okay there you go so i am talking right now you could be doing your podcasting or even you are calling someone background music it's gonna be on here there you go so music volume that is the volume of your background music and uh, this time if you want to use the Dutch uh, feature on here okay let's play this music again okay and now the Dutch is turned on as you notice you could hardly hear the background music and so as uh, the like whoever is on the other line it would be the same thing and if I'm going to stop talking the volume of your background music should go up there you go. So that is the use of Dutch uh, feature. Again, if you want to know all about the features, functions of this Zenido Live 100, uh, feel free to check the link under the description below that I will be adding. Okay, there you go. So now uh, I'm going to hang up now uh, the call. Okay, Daddy, bye now. Okay, bye. Thank you. Okay, there you go. So it is confirmed. Whatever you're playing on here or all the features from this Cineo Live 100, your callers should be able to hear that sound effect as well. And same as your viewers or listeners on your live streaming. Okay, and now if you would like to maybe sing along to your viewers, maybe a karaoke type of thing. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, whatever is your audio output on your streaming, that would be the same thing if uh, someone has called you 
or you called uh, someone while you're doing your uh, streaming. Okay, let me give you a short uh, sample. I'm just going to select uh, pop on here and I'm going to increase the echo on here. There you go. The hardest thing I've ever done is keep believing there's someone in this crazy world for me. There you go. Anyway, that would be your audio output if, let's say, you want to sing along to your viewers or listeners or callers. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, so for watching. I hope this video gives you an idea on how the setup would be if you would like to receive calls or if you want to call someone while you are doing your live streaming using the sound effects from the Sanido Live 100. And um, if you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.